I had to rely on skill a lot more. I had to rely on angles a lot more. I had to study the game a lot more. And uh, But I enjoyed it, though. So, like, from the time I was, I can't remember when I started watching the game, I studied the game, mm -hmm. and it just never changed. myself in a place where at practice when I'm training and during games I switch my mind to something else I switch my mode to something else right for me it's the equivalent of Maximus Desmus Meridius and Gladiator picking up the dirt smelling the dirt it's go time right? so that was my mental switch it's like an actor getting ready for a film you gotta put yourself in that cage when you're in that cage you are that character there is something completely different. When I'm in that cage, bro, don't touch me, don't talk to me. Just leave me alone. There's a lot of days where you know you can rest and recover. Today ain't one of them. Your back can bother you any other day. That ain't bothering me today. We're gonna he gonna have to see oh, me today. I gotta become an incredible threat with my passing ability here. You know, this I can do that all day. I'm already great playing one-on-one -on -one. teams have to key in on me which then frees up shooters on the perimeter or gives me space to operate but now I want to take my game to another level so how do I do that well I become the best passer in the post in the game that's how I do that when I become as dangerous with the ball here by making reads and making passes then that just enhances me in the fourth quarter to be able to dominate games offensively capable of doing that. So now I'm the best scorer, I'm the best passer, I'm, you know, I'm the best facilitator. Then what is the league going to do? If I can incorporate that into my game, how much more dangerous do we become now? So it's a physical game, that's fine. It's cool. It's a physical game, alright? Well, let's go. You know, I'm going to make it extremely physical. That should be the response. Easy buckets in transition. You got to look for this before the defense can get set up. You know, force the issue. The other thing on this play is you understand that this is this is boring. this is right? they're they gonna come at you. Go to him, knock him back, and then go through him and finish the shot. It's a physical game. You gotta, you gotta get after him. You gotta do the ball. Things that I've learned from the game that I try to teach my kids, for me to just come out and tell my kids what those lessons are, they don't listen to me. You gotta figure out a creative way to package it up so they can kind of find those Easter eggs on their own. And that's when I started coming up with ideas, and creative concepts, and stories to be able to instill those life lessons. Story, they have fears that they've consciously or subconsciously suppressed. And those fears manifest themselves in different ways, and we see it manifest through them. So, what they have to learn within the novel is they have the bravery and the courage to face those fears. And then they can decide what they want to do with them, right? But at least they have the power over their fear versus the other way around. Because I was playing a game I love. You know what I mean? The, the, the happiness comes from that, first and foremost. And then, obviously, you know, you have frustrations, you have moments where you're happier than others right um, but when you're doing something that you love to do the happiness is already there now there's a certain determination and, 
you know, uh, frustration that comes along with the job. But ultimately, I believe that they love the game. The most important thing is, is the game. Can't lose sight of that. It's not what people think of you, right? But it's the game. Are you leading the team the right way? Are you doing the necessary things to study your craft to put your team in the best possible situation to be champions? That's the only thing that matters. Criticism is going to come and go, right? You can have a great game on Monday. Everybody knows. You have a horrible game, horrible game on Tuesday. You're the worst. Right? It's going to be cyclical until you win a championship. And then everybody will calm down and love you for like two minutes. And then they'll say you can't repeat. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Come play with me, you want second place, most of